Squirting is a form of ejaculation where a whitish or clear fluid is released from the vulva during knocking pleasure or orgasm. Here is exactly how to make someone squirt or how to make yourself squirt and get it on this fun and adventurous way. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite sex coach, Gracious Choma. Today we're discussing about how to make someone or how to make yourself squirt. This is something that so many women really wish that they could achieve. And so many men have wished that they could understand their partner's body to be able to make that happen. So many women feel that if they do not squirt or they've not squirted or squirt, whatever English it is, I stand to be corrected. They feel that it is something huge that they need to achieve. If you do not even achieve it, it is not a problem. You shouldn't beat yourself up. But today I'm going to help you to know how to make yourself or how to make your partner to squirt. Number one, ditch the expectations. For women, squirting comes with its own pressures. It seems to have become another impossible knocking act we are meant to perform. These do not only contribute to knocking shame, it also makes it hard to let go enough to squirt. The second thing you need to know is get in the right mindset. To get into the right mindset, you need to be sure you are both relaxed and in the mood because squirting involves release. Being relaxed is key to being comfortable enough to let your body do its own thing without tensing up. The woman needs to feel safe so she can completely present 100% in her body and her mind may not be wondering. Remember that this is about feeling pleasure and not about performing for your partner or yourself. Enjoy the sensation your body is feeling and know that while you may not squirt, that is not the main purpose of what you are doing. The main purpose is pleasure. The third thing you need to know is start by getting super aroused. In order to squirt, the kitty and the vulva need to be at full capacity for arousal. There is no rushing this game. Explore your body and internal body tissue. See what areas have arousal and erotic potential. Set up a comfortable space where you and your partner can explore the body. When you are aroused, the kitty naturally gets wet. The kit and the labia swell and get darker and everything becomes more sensitive. This heightened state of arousal is a cornerstone of squirting because in order to build up to a final release, you have to be willing to take the ride up to the top. The first thing you need to know about getting yourself to squirt or getting someone to squirt is to stimulate the G-sport area. Once you or your partner is properly aroused, it is time to get to business. For manual stimulation, the giver inserts the finger into the kitty and applies pressure rather than friction to the front wall of the kitty near her stomach. One and a half to three inches in, every woman is different. This area is known as the G-sport, which is less of a sport and more of an area that happens to have a lot of erectile tissues, as well as the area where you can stimulate the internal back end of the clit. You will know you found a sport because it changes textures and feels more rubbery when you are aroused. Number five, get some sex toys. Sex toys are an excellent way to update ante on your squirting potential. While the G-Sport can be stimulated manually, using a curved G-Sport wand can be very useful. There are a ton of toys to choose from. G-Sport stimulation alone is rarely enough to cause female orgasm or squirting. So you would also want to get some toys to stimulate the clit to help get you to that heightened state of arousal. You can get a clit sucking toy. One vibrator could also be a useful tool. Communicate with your partner and experiment with what feels 
good you might like vibration or you might not consistent pressure could be the thing that works for you maybe you enjoy circles over the area perhaps you like a combination of things this experience will be super personal to everyone the sixth important thing is do not forget the lube lube is critical to all knocking art as a barrier between toys or fingers and the sensitive mucus rich vulva skin get some high quality loops to use with your knocking toys fingers and the everything else it enhances sexuality pleasure and arousal when in doubt go for a water-based lube silicone lube is more slippery and require less application but it can damage silicone toys you can also try a female arousal gel while they can be too intense for some vulva owners there are some brands that make a very mild or natural version that can help promote blood flow to the clit and the vulva the seventh thing you need to know is be open to getting messy just like you need to be in the right psycho emotional state to be able to squirt you need to be open to getting messy while the amount and proportion force of squirting liquid varies from person to person it will very likely end in a mess instead of freaking out about it embrace it if you're nervous about the mess put down a towel or two before getting busy if you're feeling extra fancy you can even buy a knocking blanket that is specifically designed for period knocking squirting and all other manner of knocking liquids they are pricey but they are definitely pretty cool it is also worth mentioning that while it is sometimes referred to as female ejaculation squirting doesn't always present as the gushing explosion you might be envisioning squirting is like so many things in knocking unique for everyone some squirts leaks drips streams and yes some of it ejects squirting can happen during or independent of an orgasm something that is happening is feeling good leading to a release of fluid so guys that's all that it is for how to squirt or how to make someone squirt and i gave you a good information of what squirting feels like or what squirting is now if you follow these steps or if you have these ideas it is going to help you to make your partner squirt or to make yourself squirt instead i'm still your favorite sex coach gracious trauma and if you find this video helpful as usual i'm always glad to help make sure that you hit that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on notification bell leave a comment down there on my comment section i'm going to see you in my next video